Here's a short selection of films that I've made to cover events. Seasonal events often have to be promoted well in advance and many clients ask me to film events which they can then use online for promoting an event the following year, like Denby's Wine Estate at Christmas, for example. Denby's presents A sparkling Christmas for 2017 Just as you thought it was all over, it's a great time to book your sparkling Christmas party at Denby's for the coming year. How about our beautiful cellars for your exclusive company party? Or the lovely conservatory and garden room, which you can book for exclusive hire or just take a table or two at our Christmas party share nights. Booking now for Christmas 2017. Just email us at christmas at denbizvineyard.co.uk to reserve or just find out more. A sparkling Christmas at Denby's. Or the Warren Golf Club Concours and Classic Car Event. It was in 2013 when the Warren Classic and Concours firmly established itself as one of Essex's key events on the summer social calendar. And this year the event was even bigger, attracting thousands of visitors, families as well as car enthusiasts, to a celebration of classic and supercars. It's a challenging 48 hours for the construction teams and the exhibitors as they arrive from all over the world to display their prize cars. But it's not just about cars. There are steam traction engines, military vehicles, drag racers and brand new cars. Films of fundraising events help to spread the word to new audiences after the event itself to drive extended revenue. Like this event for the Born Free Foundation. This Born Free Foundation dinner and charity auction raised over £100,000 on the night and a further £30,000 after the event by sending this film to its social media contacts around the world. Or sometimes it's something quite out of the ordinary, like digging up a World War tank in a vineyard. It's not every day you find a World War II tank in your back garden, but here at Denby's Wine Estate we found one. Rick Wedlock is a builder from Manchester with a passion for digging up tanks. Canadian troops and Home Guard training units were stationed here at Denby's during the war, and when they left, they buried a pair of Covenanter tanks. Well, what else can you do with 17 tonnes of metal? One was dug up in 1983, but what happened to the second one? Rick dug a test to try and find it. Five feet down under chalk rubble, the first thing that the digger bucket struck was the turret bearing, then the armoured louver and the driver's hatch. So he can now work out the exact orientation of the tank and plans to pull it out of the ground very soon. Will there be more to find? Probably. Yes, that is the holy grail. Oh my. Please contact me if you'd like to talk through your event and how you can promote it online.